are opening the doors to a story hidden for 60 years. This little Jewish girl, Jana Arshanskaya, has finally told her story. She was born in Ukraine on the Sea of Azov in the little fishing village of Berjansk. Her son, Greg, went back to walk in her footsteps. Greg found the conservatory in the city of Haikov, where his mother and her younger sister, Frina, had studied. Then he found their home, 48 Kitsartskia Street. It was behind these doors that his mother and her family had lived, a family that Greg would never know. When the Nazis came calling, only Jana and Frena escaped. Greg found the memorial outside the city to the 16,000 Jews of Haikov, who were told they were going to a labor camp. It was bitterly cold. Dmitry Arshansky had a plan. He turned to a Ukrainian collaborator on the march and said, look at me, I'm not a Jew. Turn your head, let my daughter go. I have something in my pocket to give you. Here, just take it and turn your head. Jana jumped out of line and the rest of the family marched on to Dobritsky Yar. When Greg found the site of the ravine itself, he placed flowers in honor of his family who died and all the 16,000 who perished. He knew what happened there. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, there they are. There they are, yeah. Jana and, and here are the Dimitri and Sara, Dimitri and Sara, and <laughs> the Bagancha family in the city of Haikov sheltered the girls for two weeks. This is Nikolai, Jana's classmate, and today. His widow lives in that home and opened that gate <laughs> once more. Come on in. The Baganchas couldn't hide the girls any longer, sent them on their way with new non-Jewish identities. But Jana couldn't hide her talent. At an orphanage, occupying Nazi soldiers heard her play and brought her into the city to perform for them. Jana had to remember her father's parting words I don't care what you do, just stay alive. You see her here in the middle of this picture with her head turned, trying to hide her identity. It was the beginning of hiding in the spotlight. Jana and Frina perform for the Nazis and Ost workers throughout the war. Jana told the truth that she was a Jew, just like the others in the camps, to Larry Dawson. He helped her and Frina get on the first ship to the United States, and Jana and Frina got scholarships to the Juilliard. But there was one more lie that she was hiding, the false birthday from all those years ago. Uh, this is the first time ever since the war started that I could say that my birthday is on April 1st instead of the 25th of December and I was 80 years old then. And this is the first time we've ever celebrated her real birthday, April, April 1st. Wonderful. This is a, a new birthday celebration, but you're gonna have to choose between April 1st and, 20, and, and December 25th. You're not gonna get double birthdays and double Are you sure that I can swing it? I'm <laughs> sure. I don't, maybe for one year. You get one year of double birthdays, and then next year you have to choose. Maybe I'll become a swindler. Uh, <laughs> <and> swinging. <laughs> this year you get double. Next year it's one or the other. That'd be a yeah. long explanation.